Entertainment Tonight, the most watched entertainment news magazine in the world. The Two Faces of Amanda Knox. I'm really overwhelmed right now. Innocent exchange student or hard partying murderer? Plus, could the U.S. send her back to Italy? Amanda's first full day of freedom in America. Will it last? Tonight, we investigate the road that led to Amanda's troubles and why there is still a chance she could end up behind bars in Italy. Italy is not the United States. If you are brought before a court, you are presumed guilty. But could Italian officials come and have Amanda extradited? Criminal defense attorney Ian Wallach specializes in international law. The prosecutor right now is saying, you know, I vow to appeal this. Can Amanda Knox be extradited to Italy? Absolutely. Will she be? The chances are slim to none. Now, Entertainment Tonight, the most watched entertainment news magazine in the world. Amanda Knox, her first weekend free, the exclusive new photos, will reveal her whereabouts now. New pictures from Seattle as she enjoys her first weekend of freedom after four years in prison waiting for a ferry boat. She was hanging out with friends and family. But Amanda's troubles may start again. There is news that the parents of Meredith Kircher may sue Amanda, even though Knox was cleared of her murder. The victim's family is looking for justice of their own. Ian Wallach, a criminal defense attorney who practices international law. The civil issues and the criminal issues that were brought against Amanda Knox were done so in the same trial. Okay, that would never happen here because that setup is uh, inherently biased against someone who is uh, who's accused of anything. Now that the criminal issues have been, have been overturned, there is no judgment for them to try to enforce here. So they're going to have to go out and try to get one. A civil case would compare to those of O.J. Simpson and Robert Blake. Meredith and her family seem to have been forgotten as a circus grows up around Amanda. She shouldn't worry about threats of a lawsuit. Uh, she should just be taking care of her mind uh, and her heart and her soul. And will Amanda do a tell-all interview? There is speculation she could rake in millions of dollars if she decides to do so. Uh, it was fantastic. Um, she's done very well on probation, and she received all of the accolades that anyone who's doing well on probation deserves to receive. Well, the court gave her a carrot. Um, Judge Sautner basically said, listen, I'm going to bring you back in a month, provided you keep on this path of doing well. I'm going to start pulling away all the restrictions that you have. Um, that's a substantially motivating thing. That's something she's going to look forward to. So I think she's going to keep on the same path. And this may be Monday, Monday morning quarterbacking, but the preliminary hearing is the one opportunity that you have to lock a witness into testimony, and then you can use that testimony later on a trial to impeach them. We use it to take a witness and lock them into a story, primarily because no one ever tells the same story twice, and later on, when you have that witness on a stand, you want to show the jury that they're not remembering the story this time as they have in the past. Yes, it is correct. He died of a heart attack post-conviction and before sentencing. It means he was actually never legally convicted of the crimes of which he was charged. Because he was never convicted, there's no criminal judgment against him, so the civil judgment isn't automatic. In other words, all the money he took right now still passes on to his family.